tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to recreate this creepy elf look. I wanted my elf to be kind of like a mixture of three things. I wanted it to be an elf, kind of like a gremlin, and an ape. And the reason I chose like an ape is, you know, you'll watch movies like Planet of the Apes where the apes are smart like humans, or like movies where they will even have like just monkeys in a lab like doing stuff that humans should be doing like computer stuff or building things. So I wanted to be like um, Santa Claus made this like weird creation out of his elves and they're just like really just strange and absurd. So yeah, this is the look I created. I hope you guys enjoy it. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it and keep your requests coming. For sure, I'm going to be doing Mrs. Claus and um, Grandma Got Runned Over by a Reindeer next. And I was thinking about a gingerbread. People keep requesting a gingerbread man. Um, I just, I feel like that would be very complicated just because their head is so round. Like, oh, here's my little gingerbread right here. I don't know if you see it. I got it from the dollar store and you like glue it together or whatever. So just keep your requests coming and please give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Now let's begin. So to start off the look, you're going to want to use a white eyeliner pencil to just trace out the design. So this is going to give you an idea of where you're going to want everything to be placed. It's just going to give you a rough draft of the look and it's just going to be easier for you in the long run. So I outlined my eye sockets, I outlined my brow bone so that when I painted it, it looked like my brows were protruding. I drew on a gorilla nose that was on the top of my nose because my elf had two noses, a regular little pointy elf nose and then a gorilla nose. I outlined the mouth and I also outlined around the cheekbones. So kind of when you do a sugar skull look when you outline that area and you really make it pop out, that's what I did with this look. Now I used Wolf's Gray Face Paint from their Hydro Color 12 Appetizer Palette and I applied that around the face. So basically what you're going to be doing right here is doing that whole highlight and contour thing. So I have the base color which is this. Then I mix the gray color with the white face paint that's in the palette to create a lighter gray that I use as the highlight color and you want to apply that to areas you want to stand out. So that's the cheekbones, the center of the forehead, and around the brows. Also highlight the bridge of your nose and after that I mix the gray face paint with a little bit of black face paint not too much and that's the color I'm basically using to contour around the face so you just think of it like when you apply regular foundation you have your base color then you have the highlighting which is on your cheekbones your nose the center of your forehead and your chin and then you have the contour color which goes directly below the cheekbones on the side of the nose and around the head this is going to add a lot of dimension to the face. It's going to help certain areas of the face look like they're really protruding. After I did that, I used my black face paint in the Wolf palette to start outlining all the features on the face. So that includes all the features I drew on with the white eyeliner pencil. And I want to say something about the eyes. Okay, so your eyes, the way the skin lies when they're open, is different when they are closed. So basically, if I drew on a circle around the eye when my eyes open, when I close my eyes, that circle is not going to be even so when you paint the eyes on you want to close your eye and then paint the circle that way it's a little harder to do than with your eyes open but the problem is like I said when you have your eyes open and you paint that circle when you close your eyes the circle is very uneven Use the black face paint to create some little wrinkles, especially below the cheekbones in the mouth area, like right above it. And you want to create a bunch of little random wrinkles around the eyes and just randomly around the face. But most of the wrinkles should be in the mouth area. Use the black face paint to paint on some teeth. My teeth that I painted on were like really jagged and I did that on purpose. I wanted the elf to kind of look like it had like broken decaying teeth. So that's why I just kind of made them crooked and jagged. And once you've painted on the teeth, you want to fill in the rest of the mouth that doesn't have any teeth or gums in with the black face paint. Painting over your lips with the black face paint is really just going to help hide them. You know, it's just going to take away from your real human features. I also use the black face paint to outline the face. So I outline the chin, I outline my jawline, I outline the little mouth I painted on and my temples, which I outlined my temples before I started outlining everything else. 
Once I was done outlining everything, I painted my ears and my neck gray. I mean, you could do all of that at once. I was going to end up doing it at the end because I've got like sensitive ears. But then I started getting too excited and I was like, I'm just going to do that now. So you want to outline these areas as well using the black face paint and add some wrinkles with the black face paint too. Now I paint the bottom of each tooth yellow, so technically I guess the top of the upper teeth yellow and the bottom of the lower teeth yellow, and then I paint the rest of the tooth with the white face paint. All the face paints I'm using are from my Hydro Color Palette by Wolf. I think I said that in the beginning, but I want you to know that because I don't know if the colors are necessarily called yellow or white, but that's what they are in that palette. After I've painted the teeth on, I use the red face paint to paint on my eye color and I kind of make it blotchy so it's like really dark in some areas and a little bit lighter in other areas and that's because like your iris, say you have brown eyes, you have different colors, like different tones of brown in your eyes, not just a solid brown color. So that's why I did the eyes like that. Now I use the white face paint to paint on the pupils and after I've done that I use the white face paint to highlight certain areas of the face. So the white is really going to help these areas stand out. So you want to apply a little bit of white near some of the wrinkles because it's going to help give more depth to the wrinkles and you want to apply the white to the cheekbones like right where the apples of your cheeks are and you want to bring it around that area where you feel the bone, your cheekbone. You want to apply it around that area and it's going to really help these areas um, look like they're protruding and you also want to apply that um, to where the brows are this is just again just going to help it look like it's protruding and add depth to the look now you want to use a black eyeshadow to shade the look and it is so important for this look especially below the cheekbones this is what's really going to make these areas look like they are protruding that and the highlighting with the white face paint so you want to shade especially below the cheekbone area you want to shade in the inner corner of the brows where you outlined with the black you want to shade um, random wrinkles around the face you're going to want to shade where the temple is this is what's going to make it look like there's depth like it's going more into the skin you want to make sure you shade like right below the mouth um just where you think you need shading shade and i did a lot of shading and it looks so awesome and it's easier to do this with an eyeshadow than it is with face paint like shading with face paint is pretty pretty hard so yeah use an eyeshadow instead and the eyeshadow i'm using is from my bh cosmetics 120 eyeshadow palette after I shaded, I put on some prosthetic ears. Now, I didn't glue them to my ears because that's the way you're going to want to do it. You want to use spirit gum to glue it to the ear and then you use liquid latex to blend it into the ear. But I've said it before, I have like sensitive ears right now. So I just put the prosthetic over my ear and then I painted it and then I used a black eyeshadow to shade it a bit. After I moving on to the final stages of the look, I mixed my purple face paint in with the gray face paint and used that color as my lip color. And I mixed the two together because I didn't want too much of a purple lip color. And once I painted the lips, I use the black face paint to add a few lip lines. And then I go back with the black eyeshadow and a shade a little bit more around the face and also on my neck because it just looked funny that my face was all shaded, by my, but my neck wasn't. Moving on to the last step, and this is if you want to do it. You're going to take some nose and scar wax, about a dime size ball, and you're just going to roll it into that ball. Place the ball over your nose and start using your finger to blend it in. Now you can always do this before you apply the face paint, and since I did not do it, in that order obviously the nose of scar wax is going to start turning into the color that I painted my face so after you've got your nose blended in you go ahead and use the face paint on the nose of scar wax and then you just make it look like the rest of your face paint so yeah that is all I did I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you like and I'm working very hard on my videos and I hope you guys are enjoying them and I would love to feature some of you guys so please leave you know video responses make sure you put me in the title I wanted to see one video in your title or description box and I would love to feature some of your Christmas looks I think it'd be a really fun thing to do so please leave your responses and yeah I'll see you in my next tutorial take care bye